Well today ladies and gentlemen, in this video we're going to be finally knocking out a video to where we can all check out the brand new Schecter guitars for 2021. Let's get into it. So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ray, I'm a guitar player here on YouTube and I'm <laughs> really really excited because we finally get to talk about some new guitars and a guitar brand that I've never really fully covered their catalog for 2021, and that is Schecter. Now, during the whole NAM, you know, quote unquote NAM of 2021, that, you know, wasn't really NAM because of the nature of the world, you know, all these companies were putting out all their virtual product lines and all their virtual NAMs, whatever you want to call it. And the one company that, in, you know, in my opinion, and, you know, what I was seeing that was kind of lacking was Schecter. They put out like one or two signature models but they really didn't pull out, put out a full catalog to the best of my knowledge. And so then like the other day I was on Instagram, I was looking at Schecter's page and like they had all these new models. Lo and behold, I go on their website and now they have a whole, you know, brand new 2021 catalog that just kind of is there now. And I was just like, oh man, like <laughs> I, I completely missed it. I don't know how long these have been sitting here, but I figured I'd make a video. Um, sit down with you. I have my MacBook here, just had a frame for you guys to check out. I'll put it up on the screen and we'll go through it together. Check out some of the new guitars and new basses and uh, just react to Schecter, man. But of course, before I do, I have to do the whole YouTube thing. If you're brand new to my channel and or you've yet to hit that subscribe button, <laughs> please help me out. <laughs> I'd really appreciate it. It would mean a lot. It would be uh, very kind of you. Um, if you want to join my friends and family here on my channel, that would mean so much to me. According to my analytics, man, like give or take 70% of the people who watch my videos, click on these videos, don't subscribe. Um, I'm not really sure why that is. If you could just help me out, um, it would just mean a lot. So thank you so much in advance. With that all out of the way, let's talk about some Schecter guitar and basses, okay? All right, new for 2021. Start with the guitars first, obviously. Sun Valley Super Shredder Exotic Black Limba. All right, so this is just under $1,200. First impressions, <laughs> it's okay. Um, you know, this this is certainly not my vibe in the sense that I'm not a lead player, I'm not a super shredder. Uh, but this Limba body, presumably, Limba body, that's, I'm pretty sure what this is, right? Let me see here. Yeah, guitar colors, black Limba. Um, body material, black Limba. Okay, cool. So, I mean, that natural wood color looks pretty, pretty sick, man. I'm not going to lie. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. It's, it's just okay for me. It's It's... I don't know, it's not really doing it for me per se, um, but if you're a super shredder and just kind of like a natural wood look, that's totally you. Um, you know, by all means, that this is certainly a guitar for you. Let's see if it has stainless steel frets. That's like the, the theme of 2021. Um, and Schecter always kind of seems to do have stainless steel frets. Let's see here. Yep, there we go, 24 extra jumbo stainless steel. Schecter USA Sunset Strip, USA Pasadena pickups. All right, cool, man. What's this neck made out of? Wenge with carbon fiber reinforcement rods. Very cool, man. So I, I'll go and say this again. I, I, I've said it numerous times on this channel, but I'll say it here for this video. Schecter guitars, in my opinion, are some of, if not the best import production model guitars. Um, I've had several on this channel and I've had the ability to play several in my life and they've all been rock solid. They've all been amazing, man. Um, so I just, I know, like, I can already feel what this thing, like, feels like. Um, and yeah, just, I know it's top quality just because of, been fortunate enough to play a whole bunch of Schecters. But anyway, enough talking about this one. This one's just okay for me. Let's check out another one. All right, another Super Shredder Exotic. Uh, oh God, here we go. Ziri Coat. <laughs> for those of you who watch my channel, you guys know I like suck at like pronouncing things. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, this wood, I kind of like this wood a little bit more. Um, it's a little less woody looking. It's kind of like, a, it almost looks like it has a finish on it. I'm assuming it, it doesn't, it's just the natural color of the wood. But like this looks really, really pretty, man. Like with this heel joint and like this nice wood. I don't know, man, that looks really, really cool, man. Made in South Korea, okay, I figured as much. Floyd Rose 1500 series, Lumen Lay, glow in the dark, glow in the dark side dots, thin C. Yeah, so I'm, I'm assuming this is the same exact guitar as before. Just now we have some pickup covers, let's see. Yep, so USA Sunset Strip and Pasadena. Yeah, dude, I like this one more. Like I said, um, this one doesn't have like the, that that in-your-face wood look. Um, the Black Limit, it's okay looking, but this one, the the Ziri Ziri Coty Ziri Coat, however you, <laughs> however you say that, I like this one more. So this one definitely is a lot cooler in my opinion. All right, these right here, these E1 Apocalypse Red Rains. So this one, the seven-string one, is one that I want to check out. Um, I've had 
the ability to play the Red Rain Floyd C1, I think it was called, like two years ago on this channel. Um, that video did very, very well. And again, man, you know, I'm not a shredder by by any means, but that guitar was insane. It was on loan from somebody. So anyway, the, the fact that they won, have like an Explorer shape. What's this called? The E shape, okay. Um, and then it also like has seven strings. Like this is so cool, man. This one I saw on Instagram and I was a big fan of this one. This one's really, really sick, dude. So um, yeah, Red Rain finish. Let's see what kind of woods do we have here? All right, Maple and Padalk multiply with carbon fiber reinforcement. Very cool. All right, Swamp Ash, very cool. Oh yeah, duh, I forgot. The back, the back doesn't have the Red Rain. The back's kind of a natural look and yeah, yeah. You can definitely see that Swamp Ash there. Yeah, dude, this is sick, man. Seven strings, stop tailpiece. This is cool. One thing I really like about the Red Rain series or the, the I think they're called the Red Rain or the Apocalypse. I forget what these are actually called. Um, but anyway, I just love like the Roman numeral inlays. I don't know, I think that looks kind of cool, man. Um, some people might not like it. Some people may like think it's kind of cheesy or whatever. I think it looks kind of sick if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, dude, this one definitely is cool in my opinion. All right, so we have some new Nick Johnson guitars. This Nick Johnson traditional SSS. Um, you know, this one obviously we call it how it is. It looks like a Strat, right? It's Schechter's take on a Strat. Master volume, master tone. Um, what I love about these is just it's kind of like a more modern Strat in my opinion, in the sense that like the heel. Um, truss rod adjustment is cool. I like that. Let's see what we have here for uh, pickups and stuff. Check your pickups. Okay. So Nick Johnson's Nick Johnson's single coil signature pickups. Very cool. Um, 22 extra jumbo frets. It doesn't say stainless steel. I don't know if that's kind of like adhering to the traditional type of vibe with this, or maybe it's just to keep the cost down. Um, it is only 800 bucks, you know, only. Um, but yeah, man, I think this is cool, man. I'm a dad rocker at heart. You know, you guys know me. This is like totally my vibe. And I think it looks cool, man. Not bad. And then we also have the same guitar in HSS. So very cool there. Okay, so I did a video on the Jack Fowler. Jack Fowler and I have actually kind of become <laughs> internet friends. Um, so again, congrats, congrats to that dude. Um, you know, he plays with uh, Sleeping With Sirens for those of you who may not know. But I love this guitar. Like I said, I already did its own individual video on this guitar, but I just, this thing looks so classy. So, so cool, man. Um, yeah, dude, I just think this looks badass, dude. USA Pasadena Plus, USA Pasadena. After having several con um, conversations with Jack, he said that this thing, although it kind of looks traditional, kind of looks like what our parents used to play or play, whatever you want to call it, um, it's pretty chunky. He has one, I think, like down to drop A, if I'm not mistaken, he was telling me, and um, it sounds heavy. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm really curious and keen to see how this thing would sound, you know, through my hands, my rig, whatever you want to call it. But again, I already did a video on this guitar in depth, but I think this thing is sick. So congrats to Jack, man. This thing's awesome. All right, I saw this guitar on Instagram, the PT Special. Check this thing out, dude. Looks like we got a P90 and a Tele single coil, if I'm not mistaken. Made in South Korea, but only, quote unquote, 600 bucks. Not bad, man. Yep, Schecter Diamond VT1 and Schecter Diamond V90. So I'm assuming just single coil and uh, P90 style. So cool, man. Um, this finish, not bad, like an aqua burst type of feel. That's kind of cool. Um, what's it made out of here? Okay, Swamp Ash body, cool. And uh, maple neck and rosewood fingerboard. All right, so a rosewood fingerboard guitar for under $600. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, not bad, dude. I'm not a Tele player by any means. Um, but if you're a Schecter fan and this is like your, your vibe, like if you're a John 5 fan or something like that, this is cool, man. It's something a little bit different from Schecter, at least from what I've seen from them. So this guitar right here, this traditional Van Noise, N-U-Y-S, however you pronounce that, this guitar is like the epitome of a guitar in 2021 in the sense that so many companies have made this guitar. And that's, and I'm not saying that as a bad thing, it's just like, this is apparently so common and what players are really gravitating towards. I mean, Ibanez has made one of these, um, or several of these, Charvel has made some, um, PRS even made something similar to this. And now here we are, Schecter has something similar. Um, that HSS kind of like Aaron from Intervals type of guitar type of vibe. Um, like a Sur, I think is what he plays. So again, another company, right? But anyway, uh, I guess a lot of a lot of players are really gravitating towards these kind of like, I don't know, like Tim Henson type of vibes or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, you know, gloss, natural ash. Okay, cool. So it, presumably an ash body. Yep, ash body. Roasted maple neck. Cool. Um, does it have stainless steel? No, it doesn't. Okay. So if I had stainless steel, then it would really be like every guitar in 2021. But this isn't bad, man. Kind of like a natural kind of classy looking wood type of guitar. 
Um, it's okay. I, I certainly don't gravitate towards this type of guitar just because, you know, this is, in my opinion, geared towards lead players. Not to say that you can't play, play rhythm on this, but um, this is very 2021. And that's, you know, that's cool. It's a good thing. And we also have the Tele style guitar as well. One thing I like about the Tele more is it has this cool binding. Um, the other guitar, the Strat style, Super Strat, did not have this binding. So I think I kind of like this one more. But again, not really my vibe per se. But, you know, I know a lot of players are really gravitating towards these guitars. And it's cool, man. So that does it for the guitars. Let's check out some of the basses. Now, the basses, um, you know, there's certainly a couple here that I really, really dig. And uh, I just figured I'd just, you know, check them out real quick. I'm not a bass player by any means. But it's always just fun to check out new things and check out some cool guitars, all right? So the one that really sticks out to me is the Sil C4 Silver Mountain. Um, I don't know, man. I just think this looks like the Matrix. It's wild, dude. Um, it's got Fishman's in it. It's certainly a metal guitar player's or a metal bass player's bass. Um, yeah, dude, this thing's wild looking. Uh, you know, I, I, I think this would be rather polarizing. Some people wouldn't want this an insane finish. I think it's okay. Um, like I said, it kind of looks like the Matrix, so uh, it's pretty wild, dude. Um, yeah, this is just one that sticks out to me first and foremost visually for sure. Then we have a P4 exotic, kind of like a P-based looking thing. This one is a little bit more conserved and or reserved. And I think this one would be a, a bigger hit for the masses. It's not as metal and or extreme. Um, but yeah, dude, this thing's kind of cool looking too. Okay, we got a C5 Silver Mountain. We got a C4 and a C5 GT base. Um, these have purple EMGs. <laughs> That's cool, man. Uh, I think purple gets snubbed all the time. I think purple is like an underrated color for a guitar and or a bass. Um, this is cool, dude. Yeah, I kind of like this one the most, honestly. Uh, purple is, you know, you gotta ha you gotta be some type of player uh, to rock some purple. But I mean, if you can pull it off, man, like this is cool, dude. I really like this one a lot. And you know, it's the purple EMGs. Like, who has purple pickups? You know what I mean? Like, I just love that. I think this looks really cool. And then going down here, I mean, you know, again, I'm not a bass player. I don't really know what I'm looking at here. Um, but like this ultra bass kind of looks like something Nikki Six would play. Um, you know, these could be a Nikki Six model. I don't even know. But overall, man, you know, not bad with the basses. Like I said, I don't really even know what I'm looking at here. It's just fun to look at cool things and share it with you guys. But uh, overall, man, Schechter, honestly, in my opinion, a bit of a letdown, if I'm being honest, for 2021. I feel like in years past, like I remember the 2018, like with the cool fades and the 2018, 2019 with the evil twins. Then they had the red rains come out initially. Like those are really, really popular, really cool. Now in 2021, again, from a guitar standpoint, I don't know. It just seems a little, little underwhelming for me personally. And that's okay. I mean, I'm allowed to have an opinion. Um, I think the ones that are available, going back here to the page to check them out. I think the ones that are available are really pretty. Like I love the Super Shredder right here and the seven string Apocalypse Red Rain, like the E shape, that's cool. The Jack Fowler's cool. But again, just it seems to be a little bit more of a conservative new release. And maybe what's going on with Schecter is like, you know, maybe their previous models are selling, you know, insanely well still to this day to where they didn't even need to put out a whole bunch of new ones. I don't know, I'm just speculating. Just, you know, a consumer from the outside looking in just seeing what's going on. Not a whole lot of new stuff going on, but like I said, that's not always a bad thing. Schechter always kills it with their models and their imports are some of the best, if not the best that I've ever played. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure Schechter's doing just fine. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, just figured I'd just throw on this cam or turn on this camera, throw up this video for you all and just react to everything that they have to offer. OK, so everybody, that's going to do it for the video. What do you guys think of everything that Schechter has to offer for us in 2021? You guys know my thoughts. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Leave it all down below in the comment section and I'll meet you down there. We'll talk uh, all things Schechter. OK, so again, if you're brand new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. I'm out of here. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay metal. I'll see you guys next time. Later.